What if future Trunks came during the Frieza saga instead of the Android saga? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z? You see this? This is Goku! If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell for daily Dragon Ball Fairy Tale and other anime contacts. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do weekly discussion about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Today's discussion is, what if Future Trunks came during the Frieza Saga instead of the Android Saga to talk to Goku, give him the antidote, and explain him about the androids? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z? When I sat down to write my list, I saw my Z fans, if Trunks came during the Frieza Saga, it would make actually a huge difference inside Dragon Ball Z, and like I said before, every little thing inside Dragon Ball Z, if you change one part of it, the entire storyline is going to be changed. So pretty much, this discussion is, what if Trunks was trying to go back in time, but instead, he went a little bit too back and he ended up during the Frieza Saga. How would this impact Dragon Ball Z? You're gonna find out today in part 1 as I'm gonna explain with you guys exactly step by step of what would have happened and how would Dragon Ball Z change if Trunks came during the Frieza saga. So my Z fans, let's get right to the discussion and find out what happens. What if Future Trunks came during the Frieza saga? While Goku and Frieza began their fight, Everyone was watching as they relied all their hopes on Goku just like I said the original We see Goku and Frieza going head to head They were first both toying around with each other and then when Frieza said let's start getting serious and actually have a serious fight Goku got overwhelmed by Frieza's power as he was starting to lose stamina and power against Frieza Frieza was toying with Goku non-stop hitting him decking him pushing him around while Goku didn't have no energy left to fight back. Since Goku had no way out, he only had one option left and that is the Spirit Bomb. Goku put his hands up in the air and started to power up the Spirit Bomb while Frieza was clueless and had no idea of exactly what is Goku trying to do. Why is his hands up in the air? He was confused but then while Goku was getting the Spirit Bomb ready, Piccolo, Gohan came and even Krillin to help Goku and distract Frieza while Goku powers up the spirit bomb so that Frieza wouldn't notice what is Goku's plan and that he's planning to use a spirit bomb against him. Once when Frieza starts to fight Piccolo like original he goes and beats the shit out of Piccolo and Gohan and later on that's when he realized a huge powering aura in the sky a very big bright light and he gets worried saying what the hell is this and then Frieza realized that Goku actually putting his hand up the air was not any toy around stunt but instead he was powering up to attack Frieza. Frieza was filled with anger and shock and he ran right towards to Goku and started to beat the shit out of Goku. Before anything could happen, Goku's spirit bomb wasn't ready but because Frieza came in halfway to ruin Goku's spirit bomb, his spirit bomb completely depleted and all the energy that he borrowed from everyone vanished right there because he wasn't able to sustain the spirit bomb. Now with no trump card left, Frieza kept beating the shit out of Goku and Goku tried his best to fight back but he had nothing else in him. As Frieza comes to Goku and before killing him, Frieza looks at Goku and says, after I'm done with planet Namek, I'm gonna make my way towards planet Earth and kill everyone you love and destroy that planet. Facing with no odds, Goku had no choice but to give Frieza his final attack which hardly faced Frieza because Goku was literally at only 3% left of his energy. Before Frieza goes to make the next move, Piccolo was in the ground all bruised up, Gohan was in the ground, Krillin was in the ground, there was no one there to help Goku as Goku was about to face his death and before Frieza could do anything, we hear a spaceship landing towards planet Namek. Frieza saw that, everyone saw that there's a spaceship that landed right next to Frieza's spaceship out of shock that who would come to Namek during this time, Frieza decided to kill whoever it is, but before anything, 
he saw a young boy with a sword making his way to and kill everyone. And when Trunks told Goku that everyone dies in his timeline including Goku, Goku was really upset. At first Goku didn't know that if what Trunks says is true or not but then seeing his eyes and face Goku believed in Trunks and then that's when Trunks says to Goku that here you go Goku this is for you. He passes Goku the antidote and tells him that you have to start taking it now so you won't die by heart virus. Before Trunks could leave Goku asks him that just who are you if you're a Saiyan who's your father and your mother. Trunks says I'm from the future and you already know my mother and my dad and Goku said who? As Trunks points right towards the grave where Vegeta was buried, Goku fell in shock saying no way, Vegeta's your dad? And then who's the mother? Trunks tells that Boma's his mom but not to tell no one or else he would not exist. Believing in Goku, Goku said you have my word Trunks, thank you so much for giving me this information and this antidote, I will not let you guys down. And that's when Trunks made his way and left this universe and went right back to his own universe. Everyone then came to Goku and asked what was it, what he said. Goku told them everything except for who's his parents. And then Goku made a request to King Kai. He asked King Kai to talk to Kami to use the Dragon Balls to wish back everyone that died by Frieza on Planet Namek. After they used the Dragon Balls to wish back everyone, Guru himself has came back and therefore Purunga was available to make a wish. Once when they see that, they're gonna go and ask for Chatsu to be back. Celebrating the victory that Frieza's dead and Chatsu has come back to alive. Everyone has first recovered their health. They all were fed well. And all the Namekians thanked him saying you guys are a hero. Thank you so much. And before leaving Goku saw that Vegeta was there too. And he asked him to come with him to Earth. And that he will show him the secret of being a Super Saiyan. Hearing that is what gave Vegeta that idea to come. And then Bulma tells Vegeta that if you come. You can live with me. So now that Vegeta has no way of saying no to come to Earth, he decides to go to Earth with Goku and the rest of the people and they all go back to Earth. Now the flaws right here my Z fans as we can see is that Goku would not turn into a Super Saiyan because Trunks has came to fight Frieza and another flaws right here is that Goku would not learn the instant transmission. Once the hero has arrived home, Goku now told everyone what's gonna happen, who killed Frieza. They couldn't believe that a guy from a future came to kill Frieza but then they all got themselves prepared that 6 years from now an android is going to come and kill him. Goku started to take the antidote so that he could be alive and well when the fight happens. Unlike in the original timeline he didn't take the antidote until the, attack, the heart attacked him. Goku goes and takes the antidote right now. And then from there they all decide to part ways and train for the androids. And that's when Vegeta himself has said he will help them fight the androids because only because he wants to be a super saiyan and he remind Goku that they're still enemies. Three years has passed since they land on earth and they have all trained. Goku, Gohan and the rest of Z warrior are now ready to fight the android as they make their way towards them. In these three years of training gap we have no idea just how powerful both Goku and Gohan including the rest of the Z warriors has gotten. But one thing we know is what Trunks said is true. Three years from now the androids had did make an appearance as Goku and the rest of the Z warriors are going to exact location where Trunks told them. Now the question is will this training be enough to fight these androids or would they end up losing and repeating the same thing that happened inside Trunks timeline. Find out what happens and how they deal with the androids on part 2.